Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you um, how to add another hard drive to the iMac. This is an iMac 27 inch um, all-in-one and uh, this is an older model and this older model has the optical drive this thing here as you can see I've taken the LCD out and uh, <clears throat> the reason I want to do this is so I can install the operating system uh, newer operating system on the Mac and keep the old operating system this one right now runs Lion and uh, I have that partition or I should say that hard drive set up in a very specific way there is a lot of software on that hard drive that uh, I want to keep I don't want to lose um, the setup and the software so what I'm doing is I'm going to be replacing the CD-ROM with a hard drive and you can do that uh, the trick is you're gonna have to use a special adapter it's a SATA hard drive adapter okay or SATA CD-ROM to hard drive adapter there are several types of these adapters. Um, as you can see, this one has mini SATA or micro SATA um, communication, and it has SATA on the inside. Some of the older computers, including Macs, are using PETA. So this would be a different type of connector. This won't work on this Mac because it's got a SATA uh, CD-ROM. But uh, this one is SATA. There is uh, another oops, PETA adapter uh, for another type of older CD-ROM units and it has SATA on the inside. Um, I have not seen PETA, PETA to PETA but you, can, you don't really need a special adapter it's basically just a converter. This one is actually um, or I should say but it doesn't matter. Well, let's not talk about PETA it's it's old anyway. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this thing into a hard drive and all we need for that is hard drive that is SATA. This is a one terabyte Samsung hard drive and uh, in the kit you will receive a couple of screws that we don't need to use. You're gonna get uh, your snapping thing. Uh, some of these, these go into the hard drive instead of the screws you normally put so we're only going to need four of them we'll put them on the sides let's see I don't think you need them on the bottom yeah you can put them on the bottom well, let's see. I haven't thought why they give you eight of them uh, let's see yeah, no, bottom don't need it. So you get some extras. Uh, get a little bit confused into thinking that you can uh, suspend the hard drive with these. These are rubbery. Um, I thought they may make the hard drive, uh, you know, re remove the shock from the hard drive. But doesn't matter. We're not going to be putting any any shock on this hard drive. It's a stationary computer. So then we just insert the hard drive carefully, all right, and then slide it into position like that, and then lock it in position with our lock. So now this uh, becomes a hard drive CD-ROM adapter. By the way, it's not only for Mac you can do this. You can do this, oh, PCs, any other that has SATA or PETA and you can have an extra hard drive. Alright, 
now to the computer. Uh, it's not a direct fit, meaning there's some work need to be done on a Mac. So we're going to need to pull out some of these screws. Okay, it's good when your screwdriver is magnetized and your screws attract it. Now there is one screw on this Mac. Just move this closer. That is different. I don't know why they chose it to be different. So make sure that when you uh, take this computer apart, you separate which screw goes where. So this one here, for some reason it's larger. So the lower left is larger. Um, we're going to have to deal somehow with the um, uh, temperature sensor, but it's not critical. So we have all the screws out, just basically slide it out carefully. All right, and disconnect the SATA connector. All right. So the holes on sides will match, um, but the holes are designed for self-threading screws. So what I did was I just took a Phillips, small Phillips uh, screwdriver and just uh, rammed them a little bit, opened them up, and they will uh, you will be able to attach normal screws to it. Or I should say the standard max screws. So we'll just pull out the screws. Peel back the shield. Oops, that. All right. So now we'll just peel the shield off. And what? can also be done is I have the Blu-ray external so I don't really need this uh, drive but so I'll be using a Blu-ray. Uh, you can get an external um, case enclosure for that and make it uh, an external drive. So now we're just gonna drop our hard drive in and the reason you want to do this, or I should say go through, uh, you know, the complexity of doing this, is that the, oh great, this needs to come off. This needs to come off because it does, this flat part is extra, doesn't fit in there. It's designed to have the... nice face if the CD-ROM is actually sticking right outside of your computer. So we'll just have to adapt it a little bit. Well, I don't like that. Oh well, let's see if we can take it out without having to. Alright. Okay. 
I see. It's actually held on on this side. out and it's a little detour there isn't doesn't seem to be a screw in there I don't think we're gonna need to take our hard drive out for this but I don't know yet all I know is... Yeah, there is a screw here. Okay. Everybody wants to have these warranty screws so that they know you didn't modify their stuff. Okay, so there's one hidden screw under under the label. Now we'll just take the case off. And there is the two screws that hold the front plate in place. And I just didn't realize that was the case, that's all. No big deal. A small detour. Okay. And it's out. So, not, I'm not liking to work on it this way, but it's there a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're good on that. And uh, it's actually good that they have a front plate so nicely uh, attached there. If it was just snapped in, um, most likely it would have just fallen out with other applications. Alright, so we're good there. Just going to place our cover back on. Put our screws back in and our small detour is over. the last one. Alright, so now this should fit just fine into our um, Mac housing for CD, DVD, optical drive, right. and basically with um, opened up screw holes, uh, the regular uh, screws go in um, no problem, just have to make sure you align the holes. Alright, there. So that's good. And we can close our shield. Okay. These holes will not align. The actual drive is smaller than a CD-ROM drive, but that's okay. It's not going anywhere. Two screws is enough. So we just put it back in. Now, the reason you want to do it this way as opposed to just dropping a hard drive in um, with uh, just using an adapter is 
there is an airflow issue in this Mac. If you don't have this properly positioned, this fan is not going to be cooling this radiator. And that might spell trouble because that radiator is, in my case at least, it's for the video card. So when video card overheats, it's a problem. Alright, so we have that. And as you can see, it doesn't wobble wiggle. Uh, this, although not an extremely direct fit uh, fits just fine for this application so now this computer has two hard drives uh, the laptop hard drive does not take a whole lot of energy so as far as amp drawage on your power supply it won't make a big difference this a little better. So there's the full installation. Oh, um, the temperature sensor. We could just peel this off. We could just attach it to the same location. Now, without the temperature sensor, you're running a risk of um, fan being confused and just running at full speed. Come on. Okay, a little bit of tape. We'll just place it in the same place because if I place it on the hard drive itself, the hard drive might actually be warmer than the system thinks. So Placing it over there will be farther, but so far I've done this on uh, one other Mac and it works just fine. I've actually replaced and have two hard drives inside of my um, MacBook and uh, you know, works just fine. So here is the second hard drive and what you can do now is basically the easiest thing to do because we have the computer apart is disconnect the main hard drive, install your operating system on a secondary hard drive which will become primary and uh, then reconnect your original hard drive. With that you're going to have to put the LCD on and off uh, but it's worth it because uh, the system is not going to get confused, you're not going to get any extra questions, it's just going to install it and when you start your computer you just push the option key and it's going to ask you which operating system you're going to want to start. I'll do a video on it. Thank you for watching and subscribe.